everybody. We have a sliding glass door that we are gonna baby proof today. Um, it wasn't that long ago that I noticed the little toddler and he was, whoops, sorry about that. I noticed the toddler and he was flipping the switch and I was like, uh-oh, we're in trouble, right? Um, so the first thing I tried to do was put a, a like a, a rod um, to down at the bottom to try to keep him from opening the door, but he like figured that out in two seconds and our door isn't quite designed correctly for it. So I went on Amazon and I bought um, some sliding door and window locks. Um, this is just the random brand I picked this time. It was Latabel. Um, but there were a lot of similar looking products, but this is the one we're gonna use today. Um, and this is what they look like. So um, it actually looks pretty simple to unlock it. There's like two things on the sides, right there, right there, boop. And if you click them both, it pops open like a hinge. And then you can just clip it down. I clipped it down, look at that one hand, pop it up. Um, and so like our door opens like this. Um, and so I'm just gonna install it um, right here on the hinge of the door. So they're 3M on the back, and I'm just gonna make it so that that hinge, the popped open part, like won't let the door slide down. So I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna try to put it at a height um, where the kiddo cannot reach it. But both my husband and I can. So that's where I'm gonna put it, and then we'll take a look and see how it works. So I've got this installed, it's on the window. Um, I can close it pretty simply. I can pop it open. It says to wait 24 hours to make sure it's really stuck in there. So um, we'll check it in 24 hours as well. Um, but right now when it's open, the door is unlocked. Just a pretty simple pull. I can't get it open. And if it is snapped close, the door slides right open, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at what it looks like from the outside. Oh y'all, it is sunny out here. So I apologize that you cannot see my face. Um, but you can see like the 3M is sticking there on the back. Um, you know, my one big concern is when I take this off, what that's going to look like. So I'll have to update this video once the kids are kind of grown up a little bit. Um, but right now it seems like it's going to work pretty good. All right. So this is the sliding door lock. Um, it was really easy to install. That took me like, like uh, a minute, <laughs> um, legitimately. So now I think, I don't think my kiddo could get the door open. Now, that's pretty cool. All right, All right. so it's been more than 24 hours since we installed this sucker. Um, it is in there, nice and strong. I cannot pull that thing off. Like, I li really don't know how I'm gonna get it off in a couple of years. <laughs> um, and admittedly, the instructions didn't tell me how. So I guess I'll have to look that one up on YouTube. Um, but this is on here good and strong. It's actually like super fun to sit here and click. Like I was kind of doing this for a stupid amount of time yesterday. Um, so, <laughs> but it's on there good and strong. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of pull the door handle here. Um, and as you can see, like it's not opening. I'm pretty sure the toddler could not get the door open. And again, if I click it shut, ow. I just hit my hand on the door. But if I click it shut, the door opens right up. No problem. So that's pretty cool. I approve. Hey, it was about 15 bucks. I got four of them. They would probably also work on a window, um, even an up and down window. I think it would probably work. So I think there's probably a couple of uses around your home that you might be able to find for them. Um, but hey, that was a really quick, simple fix to our problem and it really didn't cost much money. All right, thanks for stopping by um, and I'll talk to you guys later.